Good morning. So we are pouring a slab in central Vermont today. Sun's coming up uh, right now. It's around 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little cool. It's supposed to get up in the 60s by midday. 24 by 24. It's going to be a salt box style. 2% accelerator non-chloride so that it won't rust the rebar. All right. So I hope you enjoy this. And we're on it. Woohoo! Yeah, that's a little heavy, isn't it? That steam is a little hard to see across there. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. Could almost play table tennis or uh, pool. It's so flat. So we're waiting on the second truck. Should be along soon. What a beautiful day it's going to be to set up. Uh, I think it's gotten up into the 40s right now. Still kind of a Fahrenheit. So that's a pretty good shot from overhead. Obviously we'll fill in all those little crevices. When we hit it with a bow float, that will take care of all of that. Chad just cleaning up the excess there. So now the bow float. Even out any of the uh, unevenness. The, the what? The excrement? Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. Chad's on it. Video this. Not, not that Dan's actually working, but that he's putting a slope on for the garage doors we put that slope so when the door comes down any rain hitting that will come down and shed out so it doesn't go in or stay under that rubber weather strip and freeze the door down first pull every time and there he goes see if we can get the drone up and get a video Huh? I'm going that way, correct? 
Uh, you're in the corner, right? It's just, I don't know. Well, probably Josh. So what are we doing? Tip it up. Oh, this? Tip it up. Is that what you said? Tip up one section? Okay. Is that what you said? Well, that was one of the things I said. <laughs> I stopped listening when I heard what I wanted. So, <laughs> that's that. Okay, we have a logistics problem. I'm trying to, whoa. They're lugging walls. I'm trying to. Oh, cameras at the feet. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Ah. Okay, I really wanted to show you how we do the anchor bolts, but those guys, are, they won't stop. They, when they get working... Good night. That's section three one that they're putting up. <laughs> Got to come this way a quarter, three eighths of an inch, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. I am. I'll let you go up a ways, then I'll step up more. Yep. Yep, I think we're good. Uh, it's got to go to Chad. Just. It's only going to go into. Yeah, because this, this I do, yeah, we got it. And and uh, Kyle's got it outside. 
Okay. I'm I'm good. You good, Chad? Yep. Sure. Now? Kind of coming off the edge on your side, Chad. Yeah, there you go. Now? Yep. Move on up. Oh, I see ya. Fine. Okay, so you guys are held. Yep. Yeah, it really bowed right by Chad. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, had, I was contemplating, actually. I really, 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 really was. Yep. Oh. Uh, yep. Ouch. So we're just going to put on a little bit of plywood to stabilize everything. And we're going to regroup and play again, uh, work again tomorrow. Uh, just a little on this. Uh, perfect. Down a half an inch. A little more. Yep. And up, uh, three quarters, up, up oh, yep, down, up, down, down just a pinch, yep. That looked pretty good. I gotta pull the bottom in. How is it right here? Good. Take heart hollow. <laughs> Up on your end, Dan. Oh. All right, well, we missed putting all the, the rest of the trusses up and plywooding the front. Uh, Dan's working on sheathing this gable end. We'll close in. We should be dried in by the end of today. That's my goal. We'll see how that goes. Here, let me help. Let me help. Can I help? Let me help with that. Perfect. Dan perfect. Nice. Great. Call that Dan perfect. Dan perfect. Doing it. Uh -huh. Do you feel famous now? Uh huh. Hey, let's plywood a roof. Woohoo! I'd say we do it. So, uh, after I get up there, if you don't mind moving the ladder, huh? Let go! Let go of it! <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Maybe, no. How are you doing for traction up there? Are you fine? Yeah, it's great, you actually. Eight foot up. <laughs> I'm ready. We we didn't have room here for the ladder hoist. There's just not room <laughs> out back. Yep, got it. All it's all me. Which way do I want to handle that? <laughs> Let's 
Samson. Better than Solomon, right? Wow. Let it ride under the uh, uh, plywood, I think. Is that all right? Under the plywood? Yeah. Uh, I was going to take my glove off. Uh, two inches down there? Is, that, is it that yeah. much? Like that. I think I'm maybe an inch or inch. Oh, you're, whoa, yeah. Yeah, okay. you're about the same as I am. What if we do go up there? Walk. Right. Man, cut that little tab so that when we. When it goes up, it'll bend under, forming an occlusive seal. Let me bend it. It was the only thing that was not perfect. I didn't do it. I thought, I thought, you know, he can probably bend that when he gets it up there. I did. Uh, wait, wait, I got to straighten it up. Somebody bent it too much. What if I mark this to cut it? The England stuff before we kneel it, though, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, so I gotta I gotta modify this because well, okay. I, I gotta move put it in a little different spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you let the nail ride along your finger as you're nailing it, it yep. does actually help hold it, it straighter. Yes, it's time for metal roofing. We're going to do the front today. I came with the wrong shoes. Uh, I like, there's a certain type of, uh, it's kind of a sneaker. It has a sole that is almost like rubber and it doesn't, doesn't slide. I was sliding, I tried, I tried it up there and it was just not, not acceptable for working on a roof, especially, especially because it has some snow up there that we needed to sweep off. And uh, my my lips are a little frozen. They don't talk very well. Does my do my lips talk or is it the mouth? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A ladder? So. so I'll get a screw ready, and then whenever you're ready. To... Oh, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> That's not the answer. <laughs> it's pretty close to the answer though. And it's begun. There. One sheet down. Eight to go. Okay, we're back. It's uh, morning. We're just getting started. 30 degrees out right now. Oh, so much better than that eight degrees that we had yesterday. Quite a bit warmer. So we're going to go finish the roofing on the front and then we'll go around to the back. I got my correct shoes to get up on the roof on the back to walk it because uh, my other shoes were super slippery and I just wasn't going to do that. So here we go. You got it, Kyle? I have, oh, I, I can wait on that. I can do it now.
Let go. Yeah. Yeah, red and white. I want to take it home. Unless you want it for your kids. You know, they love it. So what if it's a little sharp? <laughs> nice follow through. Look at that. It's like a little slinky. I was just going to ask Kyle to go look and see how it looks out the side, but that's a bad idea. Let's not ask Kyle that one right now. Hey, Good? Uh, milk man? There's some ice crystals on here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. There's some ice crystals on here, so I'm going really, really carefully. I'd like to know how you're going to put the ridge cap on because well, this roof, the roofing is slippery. And, uh, we thought maybe you could do that. Oh! It's pretty easy. We use the lines of the of the roof wrap to follow a straight line across. So I'll use. I can tell right here where that it, where the edge of the roof wrap is, the bottom. So we'll put one screw there, and I can already see these over here. So it's easy to just come across and get a really nice straight line. It's good right there. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, Dano, do you want to be inside and observe it? Well, I would love to. I'll even get a level if you want. And a flat bar, as Kyle corrected me. One door deluxe. Sorry. Not fitting. There it Not fitting perfect. You didn't snug it all the way down to there? Yeah, snug. It's slippery right here, so be careful. 10 4, little round buddy. You ready, chop lips? <laughs> that just got really intense. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> chop lips. I think it's soft. It's actually chop. Do you have that in the bag somewhere? Oh, well, what? Yeah, I do. Well, it's on the tri on the yep, yep. back of the truck. Yeah. Hold it. Wait, back out. Oh, good. Cool. <sighs> Hold it back out. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Hey, you want to grab the other window there? Yeah. Chop lips. Chop lips. Paradiddle. Uh oh. Good day. Welcome. So we are back. We got the vinyl siding has arrived. It's right down there. We're going to put that in. It's just me and Chad. Dan and Kyle are pretty much off for the winter. We're just going to wrap this job up. Probably take us two days to finish all the trim work and then put the siding on. So here we go. All right, I'm going to trim over, trim around the garage door. Need a ladder, too short. After we put these uh, four by four metal fascia, put a J channel up. Just let it run long on both sides. I usually bring the top of this to the top of this four by four, four inch uh, metal fascia. And I'll trim off the ends after the fact. So the, the F and the J channel and the corners, we nail tight, the siding we leave loose.
When we put the siding on, we always make sure that it slides after we snapped it in. That way we know it's locked. Yeah. A little icy here. Put a little close up here so you can see how that snaps in. Good and tight. It moves real freely. So you just take a little tension up on that. You leave the screw, the uh, screw, the nail out just a little bit so it's free floating. Yes, 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 yes. So when we put on this top panel, we measure up, we had to cut the top off and it'll go up into the J-channel. We use silicone. We put just a little, there's a little weep holes. Let's see if you can see that. Weep holes every periodically, so you don't want to get it in there. We just put a, a little dab like that. We do that all the way down through the panel. Then when we push it up in, it squishes around the upper part of that piece and comes in there and when it hardens, then it's just like a, uh, I don't know, uh, like a nail as well. You don't want to do it all the way down through there, just you know, like every foot and a half or foot. See if I can make the hill here. Be careful not to let the silicone hit the, the lower panel because then you get a goopy mess. Goopy mess. Nice. It makes a nice finish. Almost done. Chad's just doing the deadbolts on the two doors. We've got the lock sets in. He's just finishing that up. So there it is, 24 by 24. It's around $27,000, $28,000. Concrete, vinyl siding, metal roofing, all the, uh, the fascia and soffit. Everything finished on the exterior. Let's go inside and take a peek in there. You can see they've started to, to insulate it and close it up. It's going to be a nice workshop for them. And eight foot ceilings, eight feet, one and a half. The way that works is we have a double top plate, single bottom plate. The studs are 92 and 5 eighths. That's a, just a standard pre-cut stud, so to speak. Uh, and that allows when you put the garage door in, when you put the garage door in, that leaves you about three inches, so there's room for a garage door opener in there. That works really well. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. We will have more. Have a have a great day.